Good afternoon, children. It's good to be back. My name is Denise Powell, and I'm coming to you with a new lesson today from Lesson 3. The title is God Gives His People Victory. It's coming from the book of Exodus, chapter 17, verses 8 through 16. Well, let's have a little backstory. Let's back it up a little bit, okay? Well, remember, the Israelites were in slavery for 400 years, remember, children? But they were rescued, right, by God through his leader, Moses, right? And in our first lesson, God provided for them in the desert. Remember, they were out in the desert and they were hungry. And God provided manna and quail, right? Manna being bread and quail meaning meat, right, or bird, right? So he provided all that for them, right? They were hungry. And then in last week's lesson, he provided what? What did he provide for them? Anybody remember? He provided water, remember? Yes, God used Moses and he had him use his staff, that wooden staff, and he struck the rock and water gushed out and they were able to quench their thirst in the dry desert, hot dry desert, okay? Can you imagine not having any water? And you're very, very thirsty, like all day long, and not be able to drink anything. No drink, no soda, no nothing. No Kool-Aid, no lemonade, no nothing. No water at all. Wow. Well, Moses prayed, right, for help, and God provided for his people. Well, in today's lesson, lesson three, God gives his people victory. All right? The Israelites were under attack by the Amalekites in today's lesson, right? One thing I want you to remember, that everyone has a special job in God. Okay, we're going to see how God used a few people in this lesson to get his plan done, to get his work done, okay? So again, the Israelites were under attack by the Amalekites. But God's people were not soldiers. Remember, they were in slavery for 400 years, so they weren't trained as soldiers. They were just people, right? And, and guess what? Moses was old by this time, so he couldn't fight, right, as their leader. So guess what he did? He chose a mighty man of God in the name of Joshua to lead the army of the Israelites, okay, against the Amalekites. And then Moses did the best thing he could do was go up on a hill, a high hill, right? To pray to God, to pray, and to encourage God's people to fight on against the Amalekites, okay? That's what he did. So he took his wooden staff with him. Remember the wooden staff that he used to part the Red Sea, right? So the, 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 um, the Israelites could walk across on dry, dry ground, right? in the middle of the sea, awesome, awesome, awesome. And then what happened? The water swooped over his their enemies, the Egyptian soldiers that were running after him, right? Wow. And then secondly, last week, remember we just said it, God used that wooden stick again, or staff, when Moses hit that rock and water gushed out and the people of God were able to drink water in a hot, thirsty desert, wow awesome awesome God is so awesome so in today's lesson again we see God giving victory to his people all right through the man of God again Moses right but God only didn't use only Moses this time he used a few other people right let's take a look at this picture he used his brother Aaron right and her to help keep his arms up because guess what as long as he kept his arms up with the wooden staff, the Israelites continued to win against the Amalekites, right? Here's Joshua. God used Joshua to be the leader of the Israelites' army, right? And as long as he kept his arms up, Moses, they won, okay? They kept winning against the Amalekites. But when his arms got tired and they went down, guess what happened? You guessed it. The Amalekites won. They kept winning against them. So it was a special job of her, Aaron and her, to keep Moses' arms up so the Israelites could keep winning. And guess what happened? Yes, you guessed it. By the end of the day, the Israelites won. Wow. 
Wow, because everyone had a special job and everyone performed it. And the Israelites won. Wow, awesome, awesome, awesome. God is so good, children. God is so good. So, but let me ask you a question. Hmm. Do you think God needed Moses' staff to be held up to win the battle? Think about that. Do you really think that was the only way they could win? No, that wasn't the only way. Of course not. God could have easily have provided victory for his people without any help at all. However, by having Moses hold up his staff in the air, God used him to remind the people of all the amazing things he had already done to protect them, remember? He protected them to save them from slavery and to provide for their needs. Wow, what a mighty God. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And after the battle was over, Moses named the place Jehovah Nisi, which means the Lord is my banner. The place became a memorial in honor of God and his power. Isn't God awesome? God, sent, God always provides our needs. Not or maybe always what we want, but he provides what we need. He provides a roof over your head, children, food to eat, loving parents, clothes on your back. Isn't that awesome? God is so good. And each and every day, God has allowed us to wake up. That's a blessing. So we want to continue to bless God and thank him for all his goodness to us. And remember that we can trust God to give us victory in our battles. Victory over everything in our lives. Amen. Let's read our golden text today. Our golden text comes from the book of Exodus, chapter 17, verse 11. And it came to pass when Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. Hmm. Wow. But we know God gave them the victory in the end, right? Amen. What a wonderful lesson today. I hope you continue to know that God is for you and to trust God for each and everything that you need in your life, children. I love you. God bless you. Until next week, have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed week. Bye-bye now.